Hey there, this is Dylan, and I'm just recording an update. I know that I posted a piano video yesterday, and I thought that kind of counted as a hey you guys, I'm still alive kind of video, but I wanted to go ahead and show my face and just talk about how I'm doing a little bit. I am by the highway right now, so there might be a bit of background noise. But I just wanted to let you guys know that I'm doing pretty well right now. I've continued to go through a lot of trauma in recent times. I was living in a tent camp and I got run out by a rather Viking woman who attacked me while I was singing Sleeps Jerusalem. I thought that was great. I decided not to fight her because she had a few guys behind her. And instead I tried to defuse the conflict. And I ended up in a shelter where I have been doing better. And this coincided with me being able to start testosterone again. So I've been on testosterone for the past few weeks, and that has been really nice. I did three months on T, and then some of you guys may have seen my video where I talked about quitting. I did six months off of it, and after about six months, I just felt like it had really left my system, and I was just really miserable. And I was like, I can't fucking do this anymore, so... I got sober again. I have a month sober. I wasn't really drinking much, but I was struggling in recent times with some drug addiction. And now I have a month sober. So I'm about three weeks or something on tea and a month sober and I'm in a shelter. And I'm spending a lot of time with friends, just trying to get through each day that I'm out on the street and not at the shelter because it's just nighttime only. Just, you know, surrounding myself with safe people and I'm just chain smoking and drinking coffee and trying to enjoy my music, my singing and my piano and just be in the recovery community because this is a recovery channel and I am here to share a message of health and well-being as much as I can but I also don't ever want to sugarcoat things. I have put a lot of energy into staying calm on here so that I don't share things that are too triggering but I want to be real. The point of this is that it's a truth channel, not just a recovery channel, and that recovery comes through truth. So I will be honest, the streets are rough, they have beat me to shit, and I am just trying to recover right now from all that. So yeah, I don't know really what else to say, but I'm feeling pretty good being on testosterone, I'm tired but I'm really feeling the energy, the strength, the vitality that comes from this wonderful chemical. We have figured out how to apply to people in my situation, men and other non-exclusively woman-identified individuals who can biochemically sense that there's something hormonally amiss with their natural chemistry and they need the natural field of science and the collective effort of humanity to naturally bring about what will actually feel like a natural state of being for us. And so, yeah, it's pretty cool. I am... Feeling more like myself a little bit every day. So on the subject of deprogramming, last time I took testosterone I was sleeping in a tent on Skid Row 
and I was pretty sober, but I was surrounded by people who were not, people who were very agitated, and I found myself getting very agitated and feeling very uncentered, and I really struggled with deprogramming because I felt like my mind was just all over the place and my system was just going crazy trying to figure out what to do. But in the last six months that I was off of testosterone, I've been implementing some strategies for realigning my system with an arrangement that I have created for us that I think is making this time around a lot easier. I have a roof over my head and I have a lot more food. A big issue was food and now I have meals being provided for me on a daily basis to supplement my food stamps, so that's definitely helping. But in addition to all that is this um, dissociative structure that we spent six months building while off of the testosterone, so that now that we're on it, we can allow the testosterone to sort of seep into our new structure and this makes it possible for us to not just deprogram over time, but to maintain a basic sense of inner order without the raging hormones just scrambling it all up. Because as much as we want to rush through the deprog process, I think we've shared on here before, probably numerous times, that it is of critical importance to maintain a sense of inner structure that can dissolve over time, but at the right pace. Going too quickly just dismantles us, and then all of a sudden we can't do basic things to take care of ourselves. So we have to maintain basic self-care. And not just that, but actually maintain our interests and our social life, which we are also finding is opening up quite nicely with the testosterone as our dysphoria is easing. So that's all good news. I had something else to say, but now it's going to take me a second to remember it. Um, oh yeah, so this is a big one. So our ex-husband, we have been modeling our testosterone plan off of his methadone plan, which I think is kind of funny because testosterone brings you up and methadone really brings you down. But he was getting take-homes at one time in which he was splitting his doses throughout the day. So he was taking it twice a day, sometimes three times a day. And this was enabling him to crash less and kind of maintain his medication throughout the day. So we decided we had this insight that we could do this with our testosterone because we're taking the gel rather than the injection. We just felt like the injection might hit us too fast and too hard and it might result in us feeling out of control if say we were like, this is too much, but then we'd have to wait a week for it to wear off. We were worried about that. So once again, like last time, we're just taking the gel and what we're doing is we are filling one pistachio nut with the gel and we're applying it multiple times a day. So we started out just applying it once a day and then we went up to twice and then three times and now four times. And that's about one tube a day. And the prescription is one to two tubes per day. So what we're doing is just splitting it like I described and we're finding that it is hitting us a lot less intensely. We can feel it each time, but by rationing it out to ourselves like that, it is resulting in a much more stable sense of the medication and its effects. And uh, yeah, the pistachio nut thing is kind of funny. We were on tea the last time and we weren't measuring it out very carefully. We were kind of estimating it more. And I think that's part of why we had a hard time was the consistency is important, I think. 
maintaining the same dosage on a daily basis. And even if we're increasing it or decreasing it, trying to find the right dose, still having a way to measure it, I think is important. And um, while we were in our tent one day, kind of freaking out, it came to us the idea of taking a pistachio nut and filling it with the gel because that seemed like about the amount that we were trying to estimate, but we just kept using too much. No more than was prescribed, still less than was prescribed by a long shot, but still it just, it was too much at the time. We were outside and it was just too much. So we had this insight, right? And then we're sitting outside somewhere on the phone being interviewed for getting our prescription refilled. And I'm not even sure that the interview was necessary, but we ended up going through this interview again regarding getting it refilled. And all of a sudden we see in front of us this lone pistachio nut in the dirt. So easily missed, but our keen vision, our very keen vision was trained on this pistachio nut and we realized that this was the God's way of saying that we had indeed found our measuring device. So we're just applying that a little bit every day. And I'm gonna share something with you guys that some of you might not approve of, but if you made it this far without flipping out, then maybe you will be the right people to see this. We actually got a tattoo, our first tattoo, on our left arm, our upper left arm, right before starting testosterone the first time. And I'm gonna show you guys, because this is where we mainly apply our T-gel. This is a pentagram with an inverted cross and two crescent moons. It is for Mother Lilith. It is for the womb of Bina, one of the Sephirot, representing the divine feminine on the left-hand path. The crescent moons are facing each other to show a sapphic bond. And at the same time, they are forming what looks like detached testicles from the phallus of the cross and the purpose of this is to express both the castration that we have experienced on a biological level as a transgendered male, and at the same time, to express the brutality of the dark feminine spirit and her resistance to male domination. So the reason we got this tattoo is complex, but we largely just wanted to have a marker on our body that says what we think of the divine feminine and our relationship to it, because we knew that we were about to start testosterone. And those of us on the more male side of the system, we thought to ourselves, you know, there are some feminine altars in our system who may largely just be survival altars, but they have minds of their own, and whatever resistance they might have to this process, we just thought that it might help us out to kind of give them a little bit of credibility as people of their own and make sure that the world understands that we have a relationship with the sapphic, we have a relationship with the feminine, and with feminism itself, specifically from a left-hand path type of perspective. As we are Jewish, we grew up in a Kabbalistic tradition, and it's just important to us that this sort of Judeo-feminist side of ourselves um, is remembered. We were worried about a Flowers for Algernon type of situation where once we took the male hormones, 
this feminine part of herself might feel forgotten. So we have done our best to honor that with this big fat pentagram and uh, we're very happy about the result. I only feel better about it now that I am consistently all throughout the day rubbing male sex hormones all over it. So there you have it. That is where I'm at right now and I hope you guys have an awesome day. Love from Dylan and company.